In this video, we'll discuss how to identify students who are struggling or off task on eSpark and what actions you can take to best support them. First, let's talk about how you can identify such a student. One easy way to do this is by taking a look at the Quest Progress tab. On average, a student should spend about 14 days on a quest. I see a couple of students here who have been working on their quest for way longer than that. The next thing that is helpful to look at is the post-quiz score column. Remember, a student needs to score an 80% or higher on his or her quest for it to be considered mastered. If the student's score is well below this, it could be a sign that the student is struggling and you may need to intervene. So you know who is struggling. Now what? Well, there are a couple different ways you can intervene depending on the situation. Let's talk through what those are. First, you may find that the content that a student is working on is either too hard or too easy. You can change this student's goal with just one click. Take a look at the Track Progress tab and see what your students are working on. You may find that one of these students' goals needs to be adjusted. Just go ahead and click on his or her name. To adjust a student's goal, click on the blue button in the upper right. A modal will pop up where you can move the student up or down a grade level in that same domain, or you can click Other to select a new domain. Next, you can send assignments to your students. This allows you to send an additional lesson to your student without interrupting the content that they are already working on in eSpark. This is a great way to spiral review or even introduce a new concept. To do this, click on the Assignments tab and select Create. From there, you'll be able to search by keyword or filter the grade level and subject on the right-hand side. Once you've decided on a lesson, just click on it and select which students you'd like to send it to. Students' quests will not be interrupted. They'll just see an additional green box pop up when they log into eSpark. As a reminder, you will need to direct them to this box when you'd like them to work on their assignment. To monitor these assignments, simply click on the Assignments tab again and select Monitor. As a third option, you may want to meet with your students in small groups. This is a great way to address any misconceptions your students may have. Every Monday, you'll receive an email from eSpark with a list of students who are struggling with their quests in eSpark. Along with that list will be a couple of resources that you can use to address these misconceptions. You'll find one instructional video that you can watch together as a small group and a set of practice questions that you can review together. Mrs. Giro, a second grade teacher, likes to print these emails and meet with her small groups to watch the video and review the practice questions together. Once she feels that their misconceptions have been addressed, she'll send them back to work on their video scripts. Now it's your turn. Take a moment to check if any of your students are struggling. Once identified, try using one of these strategies to intervene. 